It's not going to happen. No, it's, it won't happen. It won't happen. It doesn't yeah. happen. It doesn't happen that way. Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen that way at all. Thank, Thank you. you very so much. These are the things that the public must understand. Most of you journalists, the legal correspondents, you don't take time to actually study yeah. some of these federal rulings federal and judgments. Federal yeah. federal 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 Go federal and study. In fact, I'll give you uh, really this. Yeah. 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 Very, very clear in all this. This is the judgment of the Supreme Court. It made it very clear that even that the impartiality of the judge is questionable. And it's here. Where is it? Please do bear with me. It says it here. What is it, page? What is that again? Where it says all these things are online. Is it not page 18? All these things are online. So I suggest that the journalists in this country actually take out time to do some basic research. It's not difficult, just minor research. You will understand the vacuousness, the emptiness of all the charges against me. Okay. They kept they kept switching the charges. Yes. They said I committed this crime in England, isn't it? Yes. I made a broadcast in England. Yes. And in nine charges leveled against me, this place where I committed this crime was London, in the United Kingdom. Yes. When my lawyers came to see me, to I defense. had a discussion with them mm -hmm. about how I'm going to defend myself. They removed it. I told them that no court in Nigeria has jurisdiction to try me. They yeah. because yeah. because since this offense was committed in england yeah. so they said mm -hmm. it's only a uk court that can give a nigerian court the authority to proceed isn't it yeah. based, based, on that, they based on that they now amended the charge again i removed london location mm -hmm. of the broadcast. location of the of, of the broadcast right. so, 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 contrary to section one what is it one, 196 174 yeah. of the terrorism prevention act 2022 in violation of their own laws That's in right. violation of their own laws and you want me to stand trial on that's a circumstance is that possible? Uh, no, the kind to stand trial where all these shenanigans are going on is not possible. Nigeria, with this hand, you are, can never move forward. We and whatsoever say you should not release mass and Nam the can or that Tunubu should not release mass and Nam the can. I am laughing at them because do you know the meaning of weak? Weak means weakness, people that are weak. So that is weakness. Mm. So the leader and those that are following him are weak. Are you hearing it? So now listen. All those politicians gag themselves up in Wike, Nva, Uzodinjo, and whatsoever. Say you should not release mass and Nam the Kano, that Tunubu should not release mass and Nam the Kano. That if you release mass and Nam the Kano, that what will happen? Yeah? Mm. What will happen? Tsunami in Japan. There will be tsunami. The chaos. There will be chaos. And the keeping in Nam the Kano will stop Biafra. <laughs> I'm asking. Will it stop Biafra? Okay, that was their, their feeling. Now, I want to ask how many years has Nam the Kano been in the custody of Nigeria? How many years? Three years. Four years. Yeah, three years, sir. That's... 2021. 2021, that is three years. Uh, three years, going to four years. Now, let Nigeria, starting from the presidency, down to them that are the governors, let them check Nigeria. Ever since this man has been in their custody, eh, has anything positive Happen to Nigeria, even to them, ever since they hold this man. As Nigeria, both the military and police in any of this thing, eh, a cell, or uh, that's why I say a cell, succeed or triumph against the Biafra agitators. Today, the army, one of the army chiefs, today is complaining and crying for help. Mazen Nam the Khan is in their custody. Mm. But you are crying. You owe somebody in your custody. Believing that by keeping him there, you will stop the agitation. Yet, you are not the one crying. 
foreign international bodies for amnesty, ICC for support for help. That means in the town is not even the problem. In the town is not the problem. In the town, in the town is not the one. Are you getting it? It's not the one that will stop Biafra. Yes, God will use him. You know, somebody must educate you. Somebody must enlighten you up. Somebody must make you to know one or two things which you fail to know. And that is general in life of every human being. Somebody must educate. That's why we go to school. Are you getting it? And that's why we go to mosque. That's why we go to church. That's why we go to Hindus. That is why we go to different religious beliefs. Even those that go to Babalawo as well. Are you getting it? They are going to be lecture. Are you getting it? To know, to have knowledge. So God now use Martin and the canoe to enlighten the people of Biafra the more. What they have failed to know ever since. So now we have woken up agitating for our rights. Are you getting it? Yes. To them, they believe Mazen Kano is the leader by kidnapping him. Solution will come. Ever since I've been in their post in their custody, as the agitation stop, rather the thing even increase now. Because the thing now makes people like me. And I know there are people that is still coming, that is even hotter than me, hotter than fire. Mm. That is coming. Are you getting it? They never believe that somebody like Simon can exist. When Mazen Namdekano was in the move. And even if Simon Alpan dropped today, there is another one that is harder than double or Kuneri. Higher than Simon Alpan. Unknown now. Just like Simon Alpan during Mazen Namdekano. Are you getting it? It is a spirit. And once that spirit, you receive that baptism. Are you getting it? It's a spirit of baptism. When that spirit is baptized, Master Nam the Kano, he carried it up. So when the man kidnapping, the same spirit move again and baptize Samonapa. So he carried it up. So whether they release him or not, Biafra we achieve their goals. We will achieve our dreams and we will succeed. We will make any. It's a question of some days and some months and even years. So these are these politicians doesn't they don't have the fortitude. Um, to, to, um, to, 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 they don't have uh, the immunity, they don't have the, the respect, they don't have the criteria, they don't have the quality, but they, have the they position. don't have what they have, the, they have the position, they have position in Nigeria. Uh, but they they, uh, they uh, have but, position in Nigeria, but, not in Biafra. But, we are but, talking about Biafra, but it's, not, but it's Nigeria that's still holding in American in captivity. Hello, excuse so, me, you can hold somebody after all. Uh, uh, Boko Haram are kidnapping people hostage. They are holding people hostage, demanding for ransom. Are they not hostage? People are in hostage. So uh, that is not an issue. Are you getting it? The issue here is what? Biafra. Mwike, Ropus or the other, Pitamba and the rest. Are you getting it? Those that are saying is the problem. Uh, by holding him, you want to stop Biafra. And you cannot stop Biafra, no matter what their position. And for your information, Nigeria have tried to kidnap Simon Akpan, to bribe Simon Akpan, even to kill Simon Akpan, based on this. But they did not succeed. Even some of them that was sent last time was stranded on the way. So now what am I telling you? This class of men in Nigeria doesn't have what it takes to achieve such dreams. First and foremost, how are they being regarded in internationally? That's the question you should ask yourself. They are very, very overlooked. They are overlooked. How is international people regarding them? That is something you should. Then how 
is international personnel regarding Nigeria. If you go to, if you travel now, where do you come from? You say you are Nigeria. What kind of respect they give you? Do you know that Ghana have respect more than Nigeria internationally? Do you know that uh, Burkina Faso have respect internationally? Do you know that if you travel, you say you are a citizen of South Africa, people, international people like Putin will respect you. Do you know that presently, currently now, that your president was denied from traveling to Russia? Putin did not welcome him. His dissipation. Your president, the one that claimed to be number one in Africa, was the chairman, president was server, was given a back seat in South Africa. They gave him a back seat in South Africa. I'm telling you the mess Nigerian politicians have messed themselves up thinking that they are doing us. They have finished themselves. I said, they gave him back seat in South Africa. Didn't you see it? They gave him back seat. In Africa here. Not to talk of other advanced countries. So maybe wanted that position. Maybe wanted that position. Did it look like somebody Excuse me, did a Mr. President look like someone that don't like frontier? If he did not like frontier, he wouldn't have league election. If somebody that like uh, notice me, he wanted to be noticed all over, anywhere he goes, they like notice me. So don't just go there. So they gave him, they gave him a sign. His position. I'm not sure he like that position. Hello, who tell you? He, he like the position in Nigeria, but other countries do not like his position in Nigeria. How he get to that position? Tabo Mbeki, the former president of South Africa, who who happened to be one of the foreign observers in Nigeria. Did you what, know what he said after 2023 election? He said he did not accept the result. This is typical fraud. That was why in inauguration of the current president of South Africa, when he attended the meeting, they put him at the back seat. They give him his position because he's a he's, he's back back is Nigeria, a current Nigeria back 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 what? Do you know before APC come to power, fifty thousand naira? Do you know how much it is in Ghana in Ghana cities? It's millions of cities. But today, ordinary ten thousand naira is one point something million. Nigerian money. What is it? That is why they give our president a back seat in South Africa. Are you hearing me? So, do you know how much is RAM, South African currency, to Naira previously? Go and check. Only five rand now. Do you know how much it is? That's why they give your president back seat. Because he's going back, back. Other nations are going, trying, and moving forward. It's carrying Nigeria backward. You know, when you are darkness, you definitely operate in a dark way. Those who moving in the darkness doesn't see road. But it takes one to walk in the light so that you will see road clear. Are you getting it? That is why our Lord Jesus Christ saw that humanity is in the dark. So he decided to introduce light. He came to give us light that we may walk. Bible said that Jesus is the light, the light of men. And when it shines, you see road. But wherever you refuse to acknowledge the light, definitely darkness will not allow you to see clear. For the first time in the history of Nigeria, we will gather in Abuja to welcome a president. Where do you see that one happen? So where are we actually going? You get it? No, see, look at what happened in Edo. Look at what happened in Edo. A country that when we make it, we make our choice because they are in position, they will change it. They will just come after they are the one in position. They have hijacked INEC. INEC doesn't have their uh, uh, rights again on their own. They are not independent of their own any longer. They are being influenced and controlled by the power on high, and which is very, very bad. Nigeria, with this hand, you are, can never move forward. God bless you. But you can't go there and farm because of Flanese. Flanese had us killing everybody. You are trying to avoid calling Nigeria zoo. Nigeria is a zoo. Look at how Zafra farmers have been subjected to incessant attack, bloody war, by 
terrorists called bandits. Uh, yeah, thank you, uh, Eba, and other IPOB members have been, you know, cautioning Nigerians that we should have no, expect no good thing from his Nigerian government that is bent on turning their back to the sensitive issues that should be, you know, needed urgent attention in Nigeria. That's why we call this contraption Federal Republic of Zoo is a contraption, a kingdom, a, 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 a enclosure, parts of the earth where all animals, animals of various species are living. The various species I mean in Nigeria are various ethnicities. Very, very wicked to some, themselves. They don't have love for themselves. They don't relate. The languages are different. Though we have English language as official language used in Nigeria. But still, you have some animals in Nigeria that love their language more than another person's language. Thereby bringing it into the political system of the country. And that is why we are not having competent quality leadership all across Nigeria. This place is zoo. It is zoo in such a way that the way the security officers are killing innocent civilians, denying them their civic rights, anytime there is an election in Nigeria, actually defines Nigeria as the worst zoo in the world. There are other zoos where you can see animals in that enclosure cooperating, being friendly to themselves. But this particular zoo, this particular contraction, is, let me tell you, zoo is Nigeria. You don't deny me my right. No, Nigeria is disalliving humanity. Humanity is not staged here. They turn their back against humanity. They deny humanity. They suppress the humanity. Okay, election has taken place in a state. states. What are you hearing? What are you hearing? Is that a good news? Is there any hope for Nigerians 2027? No, what are you talking about? When I'm saying that this place has been disalliving humanity, you are trying to signal me. Nigeria is a federal republic of zoo. Look at the way the youths are dying. Any Yahoo Yahoo boy, they will arrest him. While they turn our democracy into Yahutocracy. Is there any difference from Yahutocracy and democracy? You are trying to tell me to avoid certain things. I did not abuse any, anybody. I said that Nigeria is a federal republic of zoo. Uh -uh. I did not abuse anybody. Look at the way full and yes, men are killing people. You are trying to tell me to avoid the truth, not to be meticulous. Okay, I'm going to accentuate my point in a way that you won't like it. Because full and yes, men, they kill many farmers in a jungle community. That one is not an Anambra State, Anambra State community. It's in Southwest. Flani Hesme, they kill up to four other in Ekiti. In Lorraine, Axis of Para. Early this year, you are trying to tell me that I, I, I shouldn't be telling the truth on social media. What are, what are you saying? Understand? What are you saying, man? They are killing people. People are turning to Malu, animal, cows. Full animal has right to be welding AK-47, killing farmers in the farmland of Zafara, killing farmers in the farmland. Of course, in Benin State, you know how many farmers that were killed this year. Who was held responsible? Did anybody hold anybody responsible for the shootings of over 50 farmers? In Benin State, who are the Fulani headers? Who are the killer headers? Who led the Meti Allah? But the job was arrested early this year. Of course, he committed more crime than Nan Bekano. Do you know people want to Because he's a Fulani man. Turning his back on Nan Bekano. Because why? Nan Bekano is an evil man. But they just flanning. They are almighty flanning. What are you telling me? That Nigeria is not a zoo. What do you mean? You think that food drought, food drought in Nigeria 
is as a result of lack of rain. We had en enough rainfall from 2015 to today. That could not result. To, that could not have resulted to what food droughts. There is no drought.